What is going on, everybody? Rod J back again. Time to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Today, I'm going to take a look at one from Left Hand Brewing. This is a look at their White Russian Nitro. So it's a stout with coffee and vanilla added. It comes in with an ABV of 8.9%, 20 IBU, 13.65 uh, ounce can and uh stout with coffee and vanilla added it says so we got the date on the can we got the abv we got the style all the things you actually need does note on the can this is a white stout as well so left hand great brewery out of colorado does some great things more and more i see them doing the nitro stuff did a video earlier um they're one of their ones you may have just seen which was the pink flamingo so now i'm going to go ahead and take a look at this white russian <laughs> see how this baby turned out Got the glass, got the beer, let's get after it. And the nice nitro sound effects that we become used to with these types of beers. Yeah, nice little pour down there, got all out of the can. And yeah, let's get it up here so we can check out cascading effect there you go just like the other one the cascading starts to do its job and you got a nice little amount of that taking place you have the golden yellow color of it being a white stout and uh, I'm still mixed on the feelings towards white stouts I usually prefer the traditional but um, I've had a couple that have been pretty decent but I've had some that I was like eh. I don't know. Just don't know fully overall if I'm sold on the style yet. But uh, look at that. It got some good clarity. You can see through to the other side as you can uh, see me coming through the glass there. Got a nice head that's about a uh, two finger with a nice creamy white type color on it. So that's got the smoothness of the nitro already. Really settling down nicely. So get a little closer to the camera and here you can see a little bit more of that clarity as well. So pretty good looking beer. Switch it over here to the cam can, and there you got the can as well for anybody that comes in late and they want to see what I'm actually looking at right now. Gonna slide it this way, bam, there you go. As well, trying to get some of that light off of it. But yeah, aroma wise, I get a little bit of kind of a spice kick in there. I do get the sense of the chocolate, a little bit of the vanilla in there as well on the back end, but I get that. Uh, that really that little bit of a chocolate and a little bit of a spice kind of a little bit of a cocoa type feel in there from on the nose taste wise creamy feel from the nitro effect goes down really easy really smooth i get a little bit of that vanilla there in the taste a little bit of a chocolate the chocolate's kind of like a chocolate ice cream type feel in the taste body wise it's a nice medium body on this one now with nitro some people can actually have these and they think well it's kind of a more flattened experience but i mean the nitro is supposed to make it more creamy as opposed to make it uh, kind of a smoother type drink it really makes it kind of like a milkshake on these type of beers and that's what i kind of feel with this one you're not getting much of the carbonation obviously because of the nitro effect but it doesn't really jump out as much as some of the other ones I've had from left hand or for some of the other nitros. It's kind of just a unique type of experience. I thought it might be a little bit of more of a sweetness in there, thinking kind of a white Russian. I thought there might be like a little bit of a sweetness in that vanilla tinge um, with a little bit of that chocolate in the background. And really it's just, kind of there it's not really too much with it not hating it not loving it it's just like it is what it is a nice little smooth drink to sit back and enjoy that uh you can take down rather easily as it sits here i get a little bit more of that vanilla picking up kind of going towards a white russian if you've had them you kind of know what you should be looking for there with the uh the feel of it but i would say overall a little weaker than I actually expected. Not terrible, but uh, just not 
to the level I thought it would be, but that's all right. It's still decent enough to give a try to. Um, if you've had this one, let me know what you think of it by leaving a comment in the comment section. This was part of the variety pack that I picked up. The uh, Pink Flamingo has been pretty solid. The regular Nitro has been pretty solid. And I have the, uh, I think, Galactic Cowboy, which is an Imperial Stout to still do from it. But uh, overall, all the, uh, the beers, the two that I've had previously, I would stack ahead of this one. But, you know, it's all to your fancy. If you've had this, let me know what you thought of it by leaving a comment in the comment section. It might be something you actually really dig, too, and there's nothing wrong with that. Always follow your palate. But of the uh, three that I've had, this is definitely the third one in the mix there. Decent enough, but not anything great. So that's just my take on it. Thanks for checking out this video. I look forward to catching up with you guys soon. If there's other beers you want me to check out, always feel free to let me know as well. And again, if you've had this one, Give me a little feedback on it and what you thought or any of the other beers you're digging out there. I look forward to catching up with you guys soon. Keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers, everybody.